Hello, it's me again, Sheena. Today, please join me as I make my first cheese board the budget-friendly way. Experts at making cheese boards or charcuterie, I hope I pronounced it correctly, say that the foundation of all great cheese board is always the product that you choose to put on it. But most of the cheese boards because I've seen are kind of intimidating, probably because of the choice of cheeses, meats, and the cutterments that were used. So, naisip ko, baka pwede rin namang gumamit ng mga ingredients or products na swak sa budget nating mga mom cheese. Kaya, ito yung susubukan kong gawin. I've also read na wala naman talagang rule sa paggawa ng cheese board, like kung ano ang unahing ilagay. Pero dahil nga cheese board siya, I guess makatarungan lang na dapat cheese ang mauna. I chose cheddar cheese because according to the experts, cheddar is always a win-win choice because of its um, texture and taste. Tapos madali lang din itong mahanap or mabili kahit sa mga maliliit na grocery stores or even sa sari-sari store. So after ng cheese, sunod kong ilagay yung cured meats. Instead of the mga mamahaling salami at ang mahirap i-pronounce na prosciutto, I chose sliced hams, the bologna and sweet flavored hams. So once you have your cheeses and cured meats down, mas madali nang maging creative sa paglalagay ng accoutrements. Accoutrements ito yung mga delicious little things that will pair with your cheese and meat like olives, pickles, dried fruits. So sa dried fruits, um, nilagay ko ay dates kasi medyo marami kaming dates ngayon. Padala ni Habi. And then what else? Um, nuts. So best choice daw is almonds. And um, last but not the least, fresh fruits. So whatever is in season. I tried to look for a green grape sana kasi parang mas maganda siyang tingnan together with the meats. Pero they're not in season so okay na rin yung red. Kasama rin sa paggawa ng cheese board ang crackers. So, gumamit ako ng oat crackers. Tapos, naglagay din ako ng pretzel sticks and fita biscuits. And, I paired them with my favorite mango pineapple jam for dip. Tamang-tama lang yung tamis ng jam para sa malat-alat na crackers. By the way, uh, malinis po yung mga kamay ko. I washed my hands thoroughly before I touched the food. And hindi na rin ako nagsuot ng mask kasi hindi naman po ako nagsalita when I was making the cheese board. So, habang hindi ka pa decided sa pagkakalagay-lagay mo ng mga ingredients, Pwede mo pa naman siyang i-rearrange. Um, parang makeover pa siya. So, pwede mo pag paganahin yung pagiging um, imaginative, pagiging creative, pagiging um, artistic until you come up with a masterpiece. So, there you have it, my budget-friendly and easy-to-make cheese board. Hindi pa siya umabot ng 1,000 pesos. Tapos, madali lang din siyang gawin, di ba? 
so i hope you enjoyed watching please hit the like button if you did you may also share and subscribe so bye for now this has been ishina as i try to vlog hope to see you all again next time god bless